And now he's back to sleep. Chager is going in right now. Chager is going in right now. Puts the balls right back to sleep. What's up YouTube, H-Dub here and you already know why I'm here. We got another Raid Shadow Legends video for you all and I can't wait to get into it. The Sand Devil boss is live and everyone is trying to get that sweet, sweet oil to ascend their artifacts. So far, I've farmed up to stage 16 and I'm honestly having a lot of fun. I was not fortunate enough to have a Nogdar, but congrats to the people that do. It is clear that RNGs favors your account. But anyways, it's always refreshing to play around with something new. I'm definitely having more fun than I did when the Iron Twins dungeon opened, probably because I feel personally like Artifact Ascension is a lot more beneficial than Blessings and Awakenings to my account. Although there is a lot of RNG, there is a lot less RNG with Artifact Ascension. The Soul Stones have honestly been a big letdown for me, and the champ pool is way too great, so Soul Stones you know yeah they're few and far between where you're gonna get good pulls i'm sure i've pulled around 100 or more by now because i don't buy them at all and i only use what i get from the game so i haven't pulled like as many as some of the other players but i, I haven't really got too many things that have been beneficial to my account so that being said i am happy with the new boss for now a lot of people are going to be looking to improve their speed and we know the chance of getting speed boosts in a speed set from the Dragon Dungeon are very low. Now if you ever need speed boots, you're going to want to go to Palace of Aravia, which is here in the campaign, Stage 6. Um, and you're going to want to farm Stage 6 of Stage 6 uh, at the highest difficulty that you can. All right, Nightmare, of course, is going to be your best option. So definitely want to get on that because every day... We have a chance to farm campaign to get our dailies done. Not a chance. We actually have to farm campaign to get our dailies done. And so whether it's the beat a campaign boss three times or the regular seven runs on any level, I recommend that you come here and do that in Palace of Aravia so that you have a chance to get speed boots in a speed set. That way you have a decent selection of boots to try to roll some more speed on. And yeah. You, you, you'll, you'll have that option, right? You don't want to leave yourself without the option. So the substats, of course, aren't going to be great, seeing as though this gear is usually going to be common and uncommon. There's always going to be the off chance that you do get a rare piece from here, but it is very unlikely the drop rate is not that great for rare gear. Now, the substats, they, they, they don't... Also... The substats aren't going to matter that much depending on the champion that you're putting the boot on. It is most likely that, you, that you're going to be putting this boot on a turn meter booster. And they don't always need substats. It depends. If you're looking to do it for a CC champion, then you're probably going to want to be farming, sorry, forging some boots in the forge and perception set. But let's get back to the new boss. Now, on stage 15, I've been able to get some pretty solid runs in with this team, but I have been farming lower stages just for the efficiency of energy and resources gained at the moment. So far, my team has been 100% though on every stage that I have tried thus far. Even when Geo and Chager die in my comp, Draco, Cardio, and Kaimar are able to get it done for one reason in particular. The boss will not use his other abilities when he doesn't have debuffs on him. So we end up killing the boss with raw damage over time. And that's amazing to me. While that can take a bit longer, I'm fine with it so long as the comp wins. I have not seen a fail yet. Before I get into the run, we can go ahead and take a look at the champs and the stats. I have not changed anyone's build for this yet. These are the builds I'm currently using elsewhere in the game. First up is going to be Kaimar. You already know his kit, but mine's is running at 314 speed, 642 accuracy. 
These are the masteries if you don't already have masteries on your Kymar. Next up is going to be Cardiel. Cardiel is in an immunity set because I use him in Arena. He is 288 speed with just some resist. These are the masteries I have if you already don't have masteries on your cardio. The next champion is going to be Chager, who is honestly the MVP of this comp. He's got 5k attack, 231 speed, crit capped with 259 damage, and 326 accuracy. Right now, I have him just in some perception, some accuracy, and a broken speed boot. These are the masteries. I don't have full masteries on him yet. I have been farming the scrolls for him. But these are the masteries. Standard mastery down into T6 War Master. The next champion is going to be Dracomorph, who is in a clan boss build at the moment. He is in a relentless set. 4k attack, 218 speed for Bat Eater, crit capped with 242 damage, and he just has on clan boss masteries. Nothing special. The last champ is going to be Geomancer, who has been OP for all of the new content recently from Hydra to Iron Twins, to the new boss, Geomancer is kind of getting it done everywhere. He's in a reflex set, 60k HP, 239 speed, and 506 accuracy. Here are the masteries that I went with. You can copy them if you don't already use these exact same masteries on your Geo. Now, let's take a look at some runs. Now, this is stage 15. While this team is not currently speed tuned, it does have some great synergy. And I would love to build my second Draco out um, to get it even better. I have not booked him, but he is already maxed because I do use him in Faction Wars at the moment. But I would love to book him and try to get him in this comp so that we can get some of the higher stages done. As you can see there, quick wipe by the boss, but... It's fine. And now he's back to sleep. Chager is going in right now. Chager is going in right now. Puts the balls right back to sleep. Geomancer is down, but it's no problem. The boss is done. Let's go ahead and run it again. Okay, we didn't get the decreased turn meter on that on that one, but it's fine. Wiped by the boss. Chaker's going to be revived here. Sleep. Put him to sleep. Draco going to work. Get that revive on death back up. Boss is going to smack us one time, but it's fine. Let's see if the comp gets back in sync here or if we will have to. Whoop, there we go. Sleep. Boom, and decrease turn meter. Now we're back in synergy. Draco didn't have his decreased defense, though, at the time. Actually, no, because I have it turned off. Ha, ha, ha. I actually did turn off Draco's A3. All right, let's run it again. Just so you guys can see that this comp has not failed me on 15. White by the boss. Revive. Chago's going to heal himself, put him back to sleep, let's go. Put him back to sleep again, Chager, let's go. Decrease turn meter by Geo coming in clutch. Put 
Put him back to sleep again, Chager. Quick ally attack and another sleep. And voila. Another run for you guys. Just so you can see. I know a lot of people are saying their comps are not 100%. They're saying they're having troubles. They're wiping. It's not, it's not working. This comp has worked fine for me. It has not failed. At this stage. It has not failed at this stage. I have not ran it enough on 16 to see if it fails at 16. But I was able to complete 16. I was not able to complete anything higher than 16 with the current stats. Everyone would need to have some better stats. I'm sure... Kaimar is okay. Cardiel could probably do with more speed, but we need Draco to be a bit better built. Geomancer's taking a nap right now, but it's fine. We're just going to get some raw damage out. The boss's skills are on cooldown anyway, so we are fine. Let's get some sleep. No, no sleep. <clears throat> We should be able to sleep now. There we go. Yeah. I need a much faster Draco to have perfect synergy. Much faster Draco for perfect synergy. The clan boss build does decent damage, but for the synergy of the comp, we need a much faster Draco. Revive on death again. Let's go. Chager is not going down, guys. He's not going down. Sleep. Revive on death. Chager uses A2. Perfect timing. And there you have it. Now, these are the presets really quickly. Cardiel's opening with his revival and death. Kaimar's opening with his sleep and we prioritize the sleep. Chager is opening with his A2 and we prioritize his A2, turn off his A3. Draco is only using his A2. He is not using his A3 because we get decreased defense from Chager. And we get weakened from Geo. Geo is only using his A3. I have tested it with uh, Draco without turning off Draco's A3. And I've just found it to be better with keeping his A2 only. Just because we also want the chance to land Brimstone. But there you have it guys. I hope this video was helpful. I hope you are having a good time with this boss. <clears throat> but there you have it, guys. I hope this video was helpful. I hope you're having a great time with this boss. I know some people aren't too thrilled about it. But let me know what you guys think in the comments. And I hope to bring you some more content on the higher stages very soon. Until then, be good and be well. Thanks for watching.